what is the where's the value for Cassie? I think it's that? creating a global community, like in creating you know bonds between countries, um, and creating a like a common language too, and starting to dive deeper because we get uh, instead of sitting in Canada in an echo chamber where we're just hearing each other talk all the time and it's kind of like we just you know hey good job that was really good um, it puts us in a place where we have to sharpen our skills and be really on point with what we're saying um, because you're not going to get a, a confirmation bias I guess I think it's important to keep us on track with uh, like keeping up to date all the time like more than up to date like seeking ways to not getting stuck in our ways so that's opening our our views yeah. by comparing ourselves and feeding ourselves from, from what the other are doing mm -hmm. yeah we have a pretty strong system but a lot of countries also have very strong systems that do things just a little bit differently so it's nice to rub shoulders a little bit with those kind of people and trade ideas mm -hmm. and not steal them but um, get inspired by what some other people are doing as well yeah one of the coolest things i thought is preparing for all of this we uh we've been talking a lot about like what makes cassie different from the rest and it's good to reflect on that once in a while and realize what we're doing differently and try to kind of highlight what is the strength of that and just going through that preparation we've actually had a lot of conversations amongst the tech team and whatnot because of that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it really helps us to sharpen our focus because we have to present it at the global level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and even not, not only about the content, but also about the, the container, like the program themselves, how they do it in other places, like the yeah. logistical side mm -hmm. also. Yeah. It's good things that we're picking up. I think what I saw yesterday too when we were riding around, it's just how passionate everyone is about being here mm -hmm. and sharing some of their info. It's like pretty cool how many people high-fived and fist-pumped us yesterday when we were just cruising around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we definitely enjoy a pretty good reputation yeah. internationally, and that's only grown over the last, I would say, five to ten years for sure, but probably partly because of our presence at this event, but also from, you know, just um, making sure that we're continually improving. I think the other one, too, is that it reminds us that because we run courses pretty globally um, and, and internationally in so many different locations, by getting out of Canada and into a different location and presenting it in a different place, it, it allows us to stay connected to that global landscape mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Keep in the stoke guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the, the fact that we're getting, like we're leaning heavily on the teaching aspect of things, especially at this interstate, it seems like because it's a customer service or guest service kind of focus. We're, you know, everybody loves riding and teaching riding and everything like that, but I think what we do really well is uh, we teach really well. And that's kind of like elevated here, which is kind of neat. And it's a neat way to, you know, not just look at our riding to make it better, but look at our teaching methodologies and make them better. Because uh, that's really what we're supposed to be doing. Right? Yeah, and also testing them, right? Just what we're, will be doing in the next few days, testing our project with other nations, mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. that yeah. would mm -hmm. maybe not normally come yeah. to one of our courses in Canada. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think it lets us uh, face the tough questions, like everything sharpens up when you go for a competition or an exam, mm -hmm. um, and plenty of our CASI members have experienced that and how much progression they get. Yeah. In a way, this is a way of us going to, to our big exam. Yeah. Let's yeah. show off the best of what we got on the world stage and be judged for it. It's a bit of a stress yeah. test, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. 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 And also, on an industry perspective, making contacts yeah. always helps in our the networking mm -hmm. and the, yeah. It's really important for Cassie to be on the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of organizations view this event as a demonstration event, but I've always viewed it as more of an R&D event and networking yeah. event. It's more of a chance for us to check in with others and just sort of take take stock of where we're at and what we're doing and, yeah. and make those connections like you said yeah the world is shrinking where it has it's definitely become more we've become more of an international association yeah, so. yeah for sure making some allies yeah and then taking the stuff back home to the membership um 
trying to get like we, we talk a lot and we've got a lot of our own ideas again this gives us a fresh perspective and fresh ideas and fresh ideas are always like exciting especially when we get to integrate them into our own casting knowledge so hopefully we can take a lot of this stuff back to our membership we've already had some member sessions preparing our information and then spreading it through the cassie blog our social media content and then back on snow uh, next season uh, bring ideas back to our membership mm -hmm. and i think that's does mm -hmm. keep the stoke high <laughs>